Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this sum in. Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this sum in copy isometric. Now in this length is 80, height is 64, 16 plus 32 plus 16, and width is 60, 30 plus 30. So we'll draw layout. After drawing layout, we'll start with circle. And this C shape. So first we will draw this C shape. I will take 30 from here. Then I will draw a vertical line. Then from here I have to take 16. 16. Then we'll go inside by 12. From here you go up. Then you take this line inside by 80. You take this also inside by 80. And you draw vertical line. After drawing this much, you will draw this dark. So we are done with the top part as well as the that slot. Now I'll take midpoint of this. It is 80 so I'll take 40. Then I'll go up straight. I'll take half of this which is 64 so I will take 32. So that will be my center. And this diameter is 48. So I will take 24, 24. Again, I'll take over here 24, 24. So we'll get this rhombus, then we'll draw longest diagonal. This is point 0.1, 1 to M. So we are drawing circle by 4 center method. This is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we have to take 1 to this M midpoint of that opposite side and draw arc. Same from 2 we will draw arc. We will keep the same radius. Then from 3 to M. And 4 to M. After that, we have to take this inside by how much? 30. So we'll draw tangent. 
and we'll take point 1 4 and 3 behind by 30 why we are taking 30 because width is 30 if you see inside view it is 30 so from 3 will go inside by 30 from 4 will go inside by 30 and from 1 will go inside by 30 this is 1 dash 3 dash and 4 dash if you don't want to do that then you can draw again a rhombus or I can say this is a shortcut method you take arc from 1 and from 1 dash you cut an arc you take arc from 3 3 to M whatever radius you have taken from 3 dash you draw an arc and same with 4 dash so this way we will complete the circle part then we are left with only the inside diameter 20 Then from here you draw a vertical line. From here you draw a line. Now from point 1 you go up by 10, down by 10. Left and right, 10, 10. Then you draw a vertical line. So this is how you will get rhombus then again same method from 1 to M you draw a line see this you draw a circle 1 to M then again 2 to M 3 to M and 4 to M Keeping the same radius, you can draw arc from 2. Then again 3 to M, you draw an arc. And 4 to M. So I hope you people have understood this. So we are done with copying isometric. Thank you.